Now we're seducing Big Tang. What up with the YouTube? It's your boy Big Tang. How many of y'all happy to be here in 2016? I'm one of them. How many of y'all happy that Trump's the president? I know y'all looking at me crazy. I am too. Uh, I'm kind of happy that he's the president because I personally think being African American, you know, a lot of ninjas, I'm saying ninja because I don't want to be, you know, using that word around because it's a strong word, you know, I'm not offense against my old people out there that look at me weird, but yes, because I don't want to sound racist because I feel like it'll bring us more closer because I don't want to have to go to the club. How many of y'all love to get your groove on? And you go to the club and you got African Americans like myself that worry about you stepping on the shoe. Nobody give a damn about a shoe. Fuck the shoe. You can get some more shoes if you got money. But I look at it like this. I don't want to have to go to the club and be sized up in the club when I'm trying to get my groove on. I'm in the club with my wife. I like to chill with my wife. I got a beautiful wife. Beautiful wife. So I'm in the club. We chilling. You know, I'm grooving. And I got to worry about the next man behind me. And I have to do this number every time I go to the club. Because I don't worry about the next man. I know you're looking at me like, I like the damn penguin of fucking Batman. Because I'm worried about the next man. But, you know, serious though, uh, you know, a lot of y'all don't understand it's pretty tough. So I was kind of nervous when Barack Obama was the president. How many of y'all mad that he left the White House? Okay, I'm kind of a little mad, you know. Uh, when he was elected, I was getting out for work, you know. I was telling myself, I need to kind of chill, you know, get my mind right. So I, I go to Hooters. You know, I'm in Hooters. You know, I chill. No lie. There's a lot of opposite of color. Caucasian folks. Not, not racist. Just being honest. Caucasian folks, and uh, you know, I'm sitting, you know, I take a sip, you know, something, something lovely, and I'm thinking to myself, this is election night, you know, hopefully Barack Obama becomes the president, I'm like, hopefully, but at the sense, I wasn't realizing that the whole bar, the whole Hooters, minority was Caucasian, so I'm here thinking to myself, this is a good idea for me, a ninja, to be in here with a whole lot of Caucasian folks on election day, and if Barack became the president, how would their reaction be? So, peep this. So I'm sitting, I'm chilling, I'm waiting. What well, anonymous decision, we give y'all, y'all new president, Barack Obama. So, I'm shaking. I'm nervous. So I hear grunting. So you know what I did? I jumped up and I said, who the fuck elected this ninja to be the president, breathing all the white man's air? I know what y'all thinking. I'm a sellout. But I'm just, I'm being honest. Today, the world's crazy, though. You got to think about it. You got people die, Trayvon Martin, R.I.P., rest in peace. 2016, you got different, different people dying, though. You got people die for us. You got Martin Luther King all the way down on Malcolm X. I was nervous. Can you blame me? You know, I'm not saying I got nothing against y'all, you know, but it's kind of weird how y'all call us color folks. No offense. And, you know, you got when the sun is outside, it's 90 degrees outside, and, you know, you know we get a little tan, but y'all burn up. I swear, if there was such thing as hitting vampires, I'd say y'all motherfuckers some vampires. Mm -hmm. Because ask yourself, when y'all go outside, what do you have to do? You got to put on suntan lotion. If you don't put on suntan lotion, you're burning up. You're turning to red. If the last time I checked, vampires burn up in the sun. <laughs> it's a scientific fact, but it's, it's, just, it's just a joke. I mean, you know, I, I look at it like this. You know, when, when we was growing up, you know, you treat us as you want to be treated. You know, motherfucker sucker punch you, you suck and punch them back. But that's just the way I am, you know. I don't just go here and just go around pick and mess with people. You know, I just do me live like the way I live, you know. You know, nowadays people go out and slap. You know, they slap. You know, they think it's cute and stuff. Think it's cool. You know, then you get one motherfucker to come around you and say, hey, man. Hey, man. What set you from? You know, I look at him and I say, look, bro. I ain't from nobody's set. Every day I'm living to live for who I got to live for. You know what set I'm going to be? I'm going to mark set and go and catch this job. That's what I'm going to do. You need to get you a J-O-B. You know, they got the wannabes out there. They just look at you funny and be like, you ain't shit because you got shit. You know, I, I, must, I, I, I would say, how many of y'all work? Anybody work? Of course, you know, you got to work. You wouldn't be here if you didn't work. You wouldn't be on YouTube. You know, I'm more sure you got to pay that phone bill. You know, I got to pay my phone bill. I pay bills just like anybody else do. But it's how you get it, you know. I don't, I don't do none of that crazy stuff. Go out there on the corner selling myself. You know, you got those women out there that sell themselves for, <laughs> for any little thing. You know what I call them? Pennies and food stamp people. Because they'll do anything for a little cheap piece of change. And it's true. You know, I sit here, I tell myself, you know, if that was that type of person to go my, go, go to the club, can you imagine me being a stripper? Huh? Check this out. Hi. Ooh, I wouldn't be no, that's some gay ass shit, bro.
but you know, if you could imagine me getting there trying to, you know, get the laptop. They got guys out there that's like that. You know, nothing against you. I'm not homophobic. But you got to ask yourself, you got people out there that's just really out there that just do anything for money. And I got a couple of, you know, homegirls who got homeboys who just, I said, wake up every day like this. I tell my wife, I said, baby, would you still love if I was like this? Huh? Huh? You know, she sit there, she tell me, baby, I love you no matter what. You know, you know, I tell her, baby, I love you too no matter what. And that's true, though. You know, you, how many of y'all married? Anybody? You know, marriage is a sacred thing, you know. It's good to treat others as you want to be treated, treat your family. Every night I'm in there, you know, I'm chilling. And it's kind of hard to stay strong in a marriage. You know, you got to make sure you tell the truth. Because you don't want your woman to go out there doing something wrong. And then you come in the house and you wonder what's going on. Like, you know, I, I came in the house the other day. And I was talking to my wife and said, baby, you know, I'm, I'm so happy to have you. I really appreciate everything you do for me. You know, I really appreciate everything you do from, from, from cleaning and cooking. And, you know, I'm just saying nice stuff. So I said, babe, which, what are you thankful for? You know, what are you thankful for me? And you know what she did? She paused for 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes. She was like, mm, hmm, mm, baby, just give me one more minute. Hold up. Mm, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> but it's, it's just the way life is, you know. You have that moment where you love your spouse and you know she goes, she gonna she gonna you know sometimes they gotta lie just to make things right. But uh, a lot of things I, I thank for, I thank God for me allowing me to be here. You know how many I got kids? You know I got a few of them. I got one of them, baby. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I got one away. So I, I'm just out here trying to make a living for my family. You know, do things the right way. You know, and I ain't the type of person to be a fool. But you know, I've been practicing vocals. I do a little singing. You know, I've been working. You know, we got Christmas coming up, so I'm thinking about singing a little song on Christmas in front of my mom and them, you know. And this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me, yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be cool, but, you know, I'm just doing little things for my wife, you know, kind of here and there, just kind of bringing little groceries here and there. You know, sometimes the bags get full, you know. You go to the grocery store, you cuss the bag and stuff, you're not realizing what you're getting for your wife. So you try to be nice to your wife. You get things like, I don't know, pretzels, bread, peanut butter, and jelly, stuff that she liked to eat. And I, I know one of the biggest things I did on the time of the month, when it was that time of the month, and I noticed the biggest thing for most women, how many of you women like chocolate on that, on that time of month? Yeah, I know. But for me, it was more like, if I didn't get this for, you know, I'd probably get my ass wet, but I wasn't thinking. So I'm in there, you know, I'm rushing. You know, I got to get five five minutes late from work. You know, I'm trying to hurry up to get to work. I'm rushing. So I get there, and my wife looks at me. You know, she's already cramping. And I understand most of the women get real upset. So she's at the door. I'm beating on the door. You know, hey, I'm, I'm here. Can you open the door? She's like, well, did you get my chocolate? I said, uh, uh, yeah, I got chocolate. So I go in. I give her an item. The first thing she looks for, yes, you guessed it, chocolate. And she looks at me like, okay, I got you. I got you. So I, I, you know, I paid her mind, gave her sugar, went on to work, come back from work. You know, I'm tired, come on. And uh, I noticed, you know, something on the table. You know, I looked at it, I said, hmm, it looks good. So she, I seen one plate. I said, well, where's my plate? She said, uh, it's, it's in the refrigerator. So I go in the refrigerator. So I look in the refrigerator. I see my dog, my dog's dog food. I said, okay, this, is this what I'm going to eat tonight, dog food? She said, yeah, I gave your, your food to the dog. Gave my goddamn food to the dog. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> you know, but that's the way life rolls. You know, you love your spouse, and that's the way things roll. So, you know, I'm out here. I do right things for my wife. So, you know, but uh, y'all keep looking out for me, man. Subscribe. It was just a little comedy thing I wanted to do. Check it out. You know, if you like it, like it. If you don't, you know, send it on the way. I'm out. Peace.